Hey everyone, where's the Tronics? You're gonna show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch using Black Rain. This is the new version of Black Rain, which uh, solves the problems with the old one. Basically, it, the new one, um, the version of IC, works now. So if you do want to install IC, it should work. And also, it fixed problems where people with three, iPhone 3G um, couldn't jailbreak. So, if you've been waiting for a fix, it's here. So, this works on the iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, iPod Touch 1G, 2G, and 3G. So, you have the iPod Touch 3G. It is tethered, which means every time you have to turn on your iPod, you have to run black rain. It's not really a big deal because it doesn't take long. And also, if you have the new 3GS, which the, with the new boot ROM, which I mean, if you bought it in October, it probably has a new boot ROM. Not really sure when they actually started selling it, but basically, end of September and all of October, you probably have the new boot ROM. Again, it's tethered, so you have to. And black rain every time you reboot. So let's get started. I'm gonna be showing you on my iPhone 3GS. And I just restored it, and I recommend that you do the same before a jailbreak. So this is the 3.1.2 firmware. Now the reason I recommend restoring is because every time you have a new jailbreak. All the stuff from your old one is left in the phone, so each time you have less and less memory. Now, of course, you could SSH in and delete that, but it's just easier to restore. So I'll just connect it and wait. So now, if iTunes opens up, which I think it won't, okay, but if it does close it, then we'll click black ring. Of course, the download for Black Rain will be in the description. So that's it. Just one button, make it rain. And you're going to click that. It says Entry and Recovery. And the iPhone. Now it's in Recovery Mode. And then you get uh, GeoHotes picture and here it says jailbreak and it's jailbroken just wait for it to reboot okay you see iTunes opened up mm. yeah it's annoying so now it's going to reboot now obviously th this is Definitely the easiest jailbreak ever. Can't think of an easier one. Just one button and it's just reboots. That's it. It's jailbroken. I think maybe the, the only jailbreak that could possibly be easier was back in 1.1.4 where you just went to a website and it jailbroke. So this is about as easy as it's going to get. Now it's rebooting. And it's done. And that's it. It's still broke. So you're going to come to the first available spot. You're going to have this application called Black Rain. Press it. And it's going to give you the option to install Cydia, Rock, and IC. Now I just recommend Cydia because, you know, it's the one everyone uses, it's most popular. Rock, I've heard a little bit about. Of course, I've heard that a, a, there's a lot of stuff that's actually kind of pricey, like ten dollars, you know. And I wouldn't really buy that because it's a jailbreak. You never know. And then I see, you know, it used to be installer. I never liked it. I'm just gonna press Ice Cydia, install. It'll download it.
And once it finishes, let's see. If you do want to uninstall the, the Black Rain app, you have the option to do it here. You know, just in case you want to. You may, if you, if you just want that extra um, spot for more apps. Now it's going to respring. And come here. There's Cydia. That's it. This is without a doubt the easiest jailbreak ever. I mean, seriously, it can't get any easier than this. So, you know, Geohoot, so great job on this. Great job. So, you know, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, just, you know, leave a comment or PM me. Um, but I think this is pretty easy. It's pretty much impossible to mess this up. And again, works on, it fixes the bug where iPhone 3G users got stuck in recovery mode, so it should work now. So that's about it, guys. Till next time.